Earlier this year, I had a one-day spin in the all-new Genesis, Hyundai's second-generation rear-wheel drive premium sedan. That car had the 5-liter V8, so for my full-week evaluation, I've been driving this all-wheel drive V6 model, a car so impressive, I'm convinced you won't find one better for $50,000. The importance of spending a full week with a car cannot be underestimated. A quickie test drive of the 5.0 Ultimate model at the media launch had me saying great things about the new Genesis, but in order to get to know a car intimately, you've got to use it as if it were your own. So with this 3.8 H-Track model, and no, that doesn't refer to the 70s era cartridge player, I packed up the family for a getaway, covering nearly 1,000 miles, including all types of driving. And with each passing day, this Genesis accumulated more and more accolades. Though the handsome styling and excellent drivability are both Genesis strong suits, it's this car's spacious and feature-laden interior that's truly the headline. So quiet and comfortable, you'd swear it has to be a six-figure luxury car. It gobbles up highway miles with impeccable ease. Now from the main screen to the driver displays, this is the way to smartly integrate cutting-edge electronics, a lesson its competitors could desperately use. Making a car rich in technology and easy to use is far from a simple task. But Hyundai has really nailed the user experience here from the very moment you approach the car. Greeted with outside lighting and a logo projection, you step into a cabin that continues to welcome you with an auditory and visual splash. This optional 16-way driver's seat packs a power bolster, which hugs your sides when seated, and has a power extender, a helm that belongs in the Car Seat Hall of Fame. You can open the panoramic sunroof to further extend the airiness or simply just go. Despite having a first-class infotainment unit and a series of menus ahead of you, the Genesis is intuitive and never clumsy. It has the best heads-up display available with excellent visuals and pertinent information. The infotainment suite incorporates three levels of redundancy, touchscreen, traditional buttons, and a rotary controller to always make accessing what you want to snap. It also adds surprising features, like alerting you to an upcoming curve in the road, and a Google search, which is a godsend accompaniment to the destination input. A number of driver assistance features are here too, including smart cruise control with a haptic feedback steering wheel, and other radar and camera-based helpers that all work with you, not against you. The rear seats are enormous and are heated with sunshades on all windows. And because it's so unbelievably quiet at highway speeds, it is the car to have for paramount road trip comfort. The trunk is huge too, so pack it all in, though you can look a little silly standing next to it, waiting for the hands-free feature to trigger. Eco, normal, and sport modes lend a tailored driving experience, manipulating the strong and refined 3.8 liter V6 and its 311 horsepower. It's a rear-drive car at heart, and it handles itself off the beaten path with an earnest hustle, backed by, finally, a honed steering feel, a smart 8-speed auto, and an energetic motor with a pleasant soundtrack. And even without the continuous damping control suspension of the 5.0, this model glides on air, yet never feels sloppy. And much to my surprise, I averaged 23.5 mpg on regular unleaded, a great number for an all-wheel drive large car. My complaints are few. I guess it'd be nice to see tri-zone climate control. The voice command recognition is far from perfect, and sometimes the smart key entry system didn't like to open or lock on the first attempt. Adding another USB port would also be useful. Pricing for the Genesis 3.8 all-wheel drive starts at $41,450, while my car, with the trifecta of signature, tech, and ultimate packages, stickers for $52,450. Any attempt to find a comparably priced car that offers all that this Genesis does is futile. For testdrivenow.com, I'm Steve Hamas.